You know, what is it about Robert the Bruce that that appeals so much to, to me not personally, just Scottish people, but to me personally, I think it was I was in primary school and I picked up a ladybird book. Wasn't that a great reader? I picked up a ladybird book, Robert the Bruce, and that was me hooked. And I heard that story, you know, and I just just always felt and when I mean, we were making Braveheart at the time we were making Braveheart I thought you know we should be really making a film about Robert the Bruce and if they spent 40 million on Braveheart they should be spending 80 million on Robert the Bruce because it's such a big it's such a bigger story to me you know there's a lot more to the story you know because it covers everybody in Scotland you yeah. know not just the poor or the, or the, the underprivileged it covers everybody you know it's a it just uh, it's a big epic story and you know I always I've always felt that I would I would be involved with it one day mm. I always knew inside myself that I'd be involved with something yeah. to do with the Bruce. So here we are, uh-huh. you know, so... And in terms of the, the qualities that are really appealing about Bruce, I mean, obviously, people always talk about the legend with the spider yep. and watching it yes. spin its web and, you know, the per- the perseverance that That's he That's right. Do you know, I don't know, everybody struggles sometimes in their work, you know, in their everyday, you know, but obviously he was struggling, struggling, seriously struggling when he was down to six men. I mean, he was down to six men from... From, from having an army, mm. into six men, he was on his, really on his last legs then. Yeah. And whether they went to the caves in Arran or the caves, and we don't know, but he was in some cave in the, 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 the spider story. It just goes to show you the determination of that man, you know, because most folk would have given up. And I think everybody around about him had probably given up at that mm. point. So really it was up to him, it was up to him, because if he hadn't raised his own spirits, then that was it over, it was finished too. So he managed to bring himself back from the abyss and, and, and become the King of Scotland and, and give us independence at the end of the day. So to do that, say something about the man, whatever they say about him, you know, he must have been a great man. He must have been a great man. He dedicated himself to his country and he did it, he did towards the end, and there's no doubt about it, to the point where his own family, you know, they took a sideline, everything took a sideline. Even his passion for his religion took a sideline because he wanted to go on crusade. And he was determined he was going to go on crusade, you know, but all of that had to take a back seat, you know, and, and the single minded goal of getting the country back, you know, becoming a skank. Now, obviously, you're performing as Robert the Bruce in this referendum year. There's the Scottish independence referendum in September. Does that add some significance to it, do you think? Absolutely not, because politics, for me right now, means diddly squat. I'm sorry, because I've, I, I spent every waking moment, if I'm not working with my landscaping business, I spent every waking moment, you know, concentrating on trying to get ready for this. So, politics and take a back seat until the battle's over. Once the battle's over, then we can talk politics, eh?